another economic application of the optimization process would be the profit maximization of a firm that is producing substitute goods. So let us get to the equations of it. There is a producer who is producing two substitutes that is P1 and P2 are the inverse demand functions of it that are dependent upon Q1 and Q2 at the same time. So they are uh, substitutes or related goods. Cost function of producing these two substitutes is also given. And above mentioned are the inverse demand functions as I already told you that these are the so these are the inverse demand functions and now we are in a position to find out the revenue functions that is R1 and R2 by multiplying P1 function with Q1 and P2 function with Q2. So we have done it here and by putting these values this is P1 this is P2 and this is cost function. This Q1 and Q2 are being multiplied in order to make these P1 and P2 into R1 and R2. So uh, you can simplify this expression. You can pause the video and do this simplification and see if this is the profit function that we get after simplification. First order conditions, they are to be found. That is Pi1 and Pi2. For that, we differentiate the function with respect to Pi1 first and then with respect to uh, Q1 first and then with respect to Q2. So we get two equations that are in terms of Q1 and Q2. So this means that we are going to solve them simultaneously and then we will be able to get the values of Q1 and Q2 which will be the critical values. And here you can see that these are the critical values. And now we can go to the second order conditions for which pi 1 1, pi 1 2, pi 2 1 and pi 2 2 are calculated which are the derivative of pi 1 with respect to q 1, derivative of pi 1 with respect to q 2, derivative of pi 2 with respect to q 1, derivative of pi 2 with respect to q 2 and the answers are found. Now we can try to interpret these results. Pi 1 and pi 2 both are negative as you can see this is pi 1 1 and this is pi 2 2 both are negative and then we have to do the second part of the condition that is the inequality so we have substituted the values here and then the answer is satisfied because the right hand side is greater than the left hand side so the profit is maximized here So we also try to find out the maximized value of the profit. That can be done simply by taking the original profit function and putting Q1 and Q2 in it. And we have done it. This is Q1. This is Q2. So the values are put and the answer is 1056.02 units, which is the maximized level of the profit. So finally, we can summarize this by saying that if the firm produces 8.06 units of Q1, and 6.65 units of Q2 which are actually substitutes firm can maximize its profit to this so these Q1 and Q2 that are actually substitutes if this level uh, these levels of uh, Q1 and Q2 are produced the profit will, will be maximized which is equal to 1056.02 units so this was an economic application of the optimization on a firm that was producing substitute goods and this was the overall process that we did thank you